So we have Jonathan here. Jonathan is the regional director for Great West. And um, I want to first go over the selection process from the, how, how, why did we go from Valak to Great West? How did that all come about? What happens there? And I just wanted to let you give you some of those details in the event that some of you are unaware of the process, thought we just arbitrarily had, arbitrarily had a bad day and decided we didn't like Valak anymore. So I want to give you a little bit of background on that. Every five years, the Adventist Retirement Board requires us or requests of us to go through a, um, uh, an RFP, a request for proposal. And so uh, as we went to, uh, knowing that we were coming up on that this, next, this past year, um, we've had kind of the same contenders every five years since we went live with Valak back in 2000. And so as the board discussed this, um, they, they came to the conclusion, you know, let's make this what we've, what we've come to refer to as an abbreviated process and to kind of expedite the details. Uh, if we are going to make a change, time is of the essence. Um, and so in lieu of that, we went with an abbreviated process. This process allows the best companies in the industry to present their services and products and allow us to see and compare against our current TPA. And so this year when we did the abbreviated version of the RFP, three emerged as finalists, with one of them being Valak, who we had have had for the last 15 years. And although we were familiar with the two other finalists, we scheduled visits with both of them. I'll let you know now, one was Aon Hewitt and the other was Great West. And so we decided from the outset that we would have an IT expert along, so David ga graciously gave us Daniel Ashton and he traveled with us to both sites and to, to review and go over some of the technical issues that we are currently experiencing, um, a wish list of some changes that we saw and, want and need, felt we needed, and he was there to meet specifically with the IT folks, and I have to say that actually worked out well. I'm very grateful that uh, he was able to go with us. Um, we made our visits, and I have to tell you that both entities were extremely impressive, and um, they had a lot coming to the table for both of them. We um, were shocked at what we what we were given, and I'll share with you now a story that that Ray Jimenez shares, and that is, for years Ray was traveling when he would fly. He was traveling commercial. The cattle car approached. We got exposed to what Great West had and what Aon Hewitt had, and it was kind of like getting bumped up to first class, and you're thinking, wow, this is nice. You didn't know you were missing what you were missing in first class until you got to go to first class. And then when you had to go back to commercial, it was like, okay, this isn't so fun. This isn't so nice. And when we were exposed to what Great West and Aon Hewitt had to offer us, it was kind of the same experience. We were, um, not to say that we were, we, we have had any major issues with Valak that, that we could say for sure, okay, this is a problem or this was, this was not a good thing. But there were some things that Aon Hewitt and Great West brought to the table that were like, yeah, we want that, we need that. We should be offering that to our employees. We should be using the that, that data in this way. We should be able to have this from Valak as well. And Valak's just not there yet. So I want to talk about three of the very specific things that left us shaking our heads and very impressive. Those three main factors for us were price, education of participants, and techno the technology platform that both of the other entities provided or are able to provide for us. Let me talk a little bit about price. One of our goals is to reduce fees for our participants, and I'm sure everyone here would be on board for that. And Great West came in with a competitive price. Why is that significant? Well, let's say you owe, or let's say you have about 85,000 in a retirement account earning an average rate of about 5%. A reduction in fees from 3% to 1.5 over a 20-year period will save you $50,000.
We want participants to keep more of their money in their accounts, working for them, and with Great West, we have this opportunity. Educations of participants. Um, forgive me, I'm gonna get a little bit passionate here. This is something that I have been burning to get my hands on for probably the last 10, 12 years. Great West has a very holistic approach to working with each participant at any level that they are currently at that makes my heart sing. We have a very vast, denominationally broad group of people that at any entity like Great West coming into us as an entity is having to deal with. You have people that are looking at retirement within the next five years. You have students having just graduated from Andrews University that are in over their heads with debt greater than any of us have ever been exposed to before. And when you go to somebody like that and you say, I really need you to take $10, $20 a paycheck and put it away for retirement, they're gonna suddenly look at you like you grew three heads. It's gas money, it's lunch money, and it sounds silly and kind of funny to us, but it's, it's not even on their radar for a lot of reasons. And I, I am passionate about the fact that with Great West, they're coming at whatever level these participants are at and they're saying, okay, we get it. We see the debt, so we understand that, that $20 a paycheck right now is just not in there. Okay, so let's talk about debt reduction. Let's talk about um, paying down, how to pay down. Let's talk about setting up a budget. And they're giving you the tools, and they're giving you the support, but they're not forgetting about the fact that you, in a few more months, maybe a couple of years, you're gonna be needing to reevaluate and look at, okay, I've paid down some of this debt. I do have that wiggle room of $20 now. Let's get it working for you. And they've got all of the tools and everything in place to be able to reach our participants on that level. And I am so excited about having that to offer to everyone um, for the first time since I've been doing this. Um, the technology platform, I think well, there's enough techie people in the, in the room here that you're gonna understand and, and, uh, and know automatically the frustrations that we've had with the current website that we're dealing with. Um, I'm gonna let Jonathan give you a demo, demo and he's gonna break this out for you, but we will now be able, no matter what device you're on, whether it's your phone, your PC, your laptop, your tablet, whatever device you're on, everything you're able to do sitting in front of your computer, you're gonna be able to do on this device. Whether it's update your, recalculate something, add, add a new contribution to your lineup of investments, change an investment, change what you're currently giving, all of that is gonna be, you're gonna be able to do from whatever electronic device you have in your hand. Okay, and he's gonna go into that in greater detail shortly, so I won't steal a lot of that. Um, one of the things that I wanna make you aware of really quickly, and then I'm gonna pass it over to, to Jonathan. With Great West, we're gonna have an opportunity to outsource a lot of some of the things that we're currently dealing with. And now this, I'll, I'll, I'll need all my HR people to kind of focus in on me here. We have loans and hardship withdrawals. We have SRAs and death beneficiary designation forms. All of us have experienced the frustration of them either being lost, of a person moving and coming to us or going from us that has a loan we know nothing about. These are options that will soon be made available to us through Great West. It's gonna involve some software changes. Um, our IT folks, Michael, Jovian are already aware of what these are. Actually, those of you that are using APS will be happy to know that they are already collecting the data. As soon as we give them a place in our software to dump that data, there's very little to no changes that you will have to do. There's not, nothing you will have to tweak, nothing you will have to start adding that you already aren't. Um, but we will be offering this probably uh, not until the second quarter of 2015. I wanted to make you aware of that. It will make our lives a lot easier. The data will be housed with Great West. We won't have to go pawing through looking for uh, beneficiary designation forms or information. When someone wants to change their, their 
their contribution rate, whether it's a percentage and or a dollar amount, they'll be able to do that through Great West. Great West will push the information to us and we'll give it to you for your changes in your, in your payroll uh, file. And we'll be able to track it and keep it that way. So I'm sure that's going to open up a lot of questions. More information will be coming about that uh, to you. But I wanted to let you know some of those ahead of time. Um, and at this point, uh, sorry to rush it, but I do want to give it to Jonathan because I'm sure you're going to be more impressed with his demo than mine. And uh, you'll have lots of questions after that. All right. Can you guys hear me okay? All right. So Beth and I have hit it off very well because Beth being from PA and I live outside of Philadelphia, so um, we have a pretty good connection. So, um, And I'm in mourning today because our Eagles, I don't think, even showed up or got off the plane in Green Bay. Yeah, so I'm sure some of you don't feel real sorry for us. But um, <laughs> So I just want to share from a Great West perspective. Uh, we are extremely excited to be partnering with Adventist, and um, we know your history of um, – helping throughout the globe and, and how that important that is to all of you. So we are just humbled by the experience to be able to, to partner with you. I just want to share that at the outset. We've had the opportunity to meet a number of folks from the organization and just have had a great time connecting with everyone and getting to know your organization a little bit better. So thank you and we look forward to um, working with all of you uh, going forward. At the uh, outset, we know that this change is um, something that is going to impact everybody a little bit differently. So as much as we might want to say change is good or, um, you know, change is seamless or whatever the case might be, uh, there's going to be questions out there. So we want this to kind of be the starting point for questions that you would anticipate from other folks. Please hit us up with those today. Uh, if I don't have an answer, we will certainly get one and share that, but we'll do our best to answer all the questions that you might have here today. And then second, uh, as Beth mentioned, give you a snapshot of, of what the website looks like uh, today, how some of the mobile aspects of that work, and uh, again, just anything you're interested in hearing more about, I can certainly share that with you. Just to start with a little bit of uh, history and kind of current events, I guess, around Great West, um, our roots go back to 1891, just to give you a little bit of perspective. So our parent company was started in Canada as Folks were going across the frontier back then, so that's, that's where we started out was 1891, kind of in central Canada, so that, that's the original part of the company. From a retirement plan perspective, uh, that really took off in 1940 is when we started offering retirement plans, so that's, that's our roots in the retirement plan industry. Um, and a couple things for everyone to be aware of as we move forward together is um, if you've seen it in anything you've been reading or maybe we'll he uh, hear shortly, Beth and I were just talking about it, um, Great West has unveiled a new brand for our retirement business. So um, the Great West name, the name that's on my paycheck and all that, will still say Great West Financial, but what all of our uh, partners will start to see is the name Empower Retirement. So um, that's as we come together across Great West, what used to be JP Morgan's uh, retirement plan business, and Putnam, which is our, our business that's up in Boston. As we've started to integrate those three groups, we thought it was the appropriate time to unveil a new brand for our business. So just want to make you aware, if you start to see the Empower name, or one day as folks are calling the call center and you get Empower Retirement instead of Great West, you didn't dial the wrong number. It's just that it's a new brand that we're offering. So um, that's what we're introducing to the, um, out to the market. And one real recent current event as of Friday Beth was mentioning just from a technology uh, perspective how we're really excited to be constantly moving things forward there. Uh, we actually just um, picked up Apple's business um, and we're able to announce that publicly on Friday. So um, having Apple as a client certainly we think is going to be a, a terrific partnership in terms of what they do from a technology standpoint and a lot of things they want to challenge us on and work together on. So um, they will be coming onto our platform I think fall of next year. Uh, so that's going to take a little while to move them over. As you can imagine, it's quite large as in terms of an organization. So um, that's exciting for us from a technology standpoint that we have that coming up. So with that, I wanted to highlight a couple of the key dates, and I think it's some of the dates that um, Beth had shared with everyone. The reason some of these are important is particularly if there's employees out there that have certain activities they'd like to do on their account, 
it's, it's important to get those knocked out before we go into this uh, kind of freeze period that we will have related to the plan. So as we migrate over from uh, Valak over to Great West, there will be a period of time where you wouldn't be able to uh, take out a loan or withdraw or anything like that. So uh, the key date there is December 23rd. That's when all transactions go into a freeze period. So if somebody was looking to borrow money before the end of the year, it would be good to get that request in like a week before that, that time period to get that work through. Um, and then as far as coming back online, that date is January 12th. So at the close of business on January 12th, then everyone has the Great West site available to them, our call center, to be able to start to transact on your account again. So if you need to do anything, that's the period of time. So you have that about 20 days in there roughly where your account is unable to um, you know, honor a loan or withdraw anything like that. So just some key dates to, to touch on there. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, and then a couple key dates around statements, and it's probably on there. Your last valid statement would be mailed in January. So that would be a December 31st statement. You would receive that in January. Your first statement from Great West uh, would come April. So that would be after we close out the first quarter of 2015. You would receive a statement from us in April. So that's the first one that you would see from Great West. So those are just some of the key dates. Uh, before I go into the, the web demo, any questions around dates or anything else from a transition standpoint that we can touch on? Not at this point? Okay. All right. All right. Let me run through the demo and we'll, we'll take a look at the web piece and then if you have questions, we'll, we definitely want to open it up. So this is uh, the Great West homepage. So um, just in terms of a URL, it's www.gwrs.com, which just stands for Great West Retirement Services. Um, so you can see the Empower information is, is already actually out there on the website. Um, so from the homepage, there's some information about us, a lot of um, education pieces that you can actually view without even logging into your account. And then we'll go through and, and look at the, uh, the signed in part. As I'm pulling that up, just Beth had referenced that you can do things on your phone, your tablet, all of that. There's two versions of the site, and those of you that are um, somewhat tech savvy, you'd recognize that there's a lot of sites you go to, there's a mobile version, and then there's the full version of the site. So typically when you go over to our site, you would land on the mobile version if you're using a smartphone. From there, you could log in your account, view everything, but you wouldn't really be able to transact. So if you want to transact from your phone or your tablet, you would want to go to the full version of the site, and then you can go ahead and, and uh, transact. And as you'll see, the way the, seb the website is set up, it fits very well, whether you're on a phone or tablet, in the way that the site is kind of constructed. So we just have our mock user, Betty, here that we, uh, we're going to look at today. Everything, as I scroll down, is laid out in these, these tiles that you can click into. And that wor that's where it works pretty well on the phone. So if I take my... Um, smartphone and I pull it up, I'm going to have those little boxes that I can click into. So I can go ahead and hit transactions if I want to do a tran you know, a d transaction and it takes me right to my different options that I have there. Um, so, and there's a number of these as you scroll down through the site. So everything you want to do is just laid out there. So it looks very much like, you know, a, um, some other app, you know, that you might be using. Um, we put all the critical pieces that folks are usually looking for right at the top. Um, makes sense and when you're going into a site you want to see your balance what have you had in terms of a rate of return so how is my account doing am I you know are my investments um, growing that sort of thing so that's right there at the top for you um, the rate of return is going to be a rolling one-year rate of return if we have a year of history for you otherwise it's based off the time that we have once you get beyond a year then you can start to go into it and you could choose a different period of time that you wanted to see so if I want to go into it and I want to see the last three years, I could do that. If I want to see just the last six months, I can look at it any way I want just by clicking into that. And then that middle kind of top tile there where it says retirement income, that's a, a new piece from about a year or so ago. And that's kind of our bread and butter, I guess, uh, today, which is really showing your account in the form of a monthly income at retirement. And when you think of, and Beth was pointing out budgeting, 
really what we try to sit down and do with each participant that we meet with is plan out, all right, what are your expenses going to look like in retirement? Let's not worry about some big number over on the left. That's not really critical for us. Let's think about, we know in retirement you're not going to be working, so you won't have a paycheck coming in. What do we need to have in terms of a monthly income to go along with Social Security or a pension or anything else to be able to just cover your expenses and be able to, you know, have, be able to cover whatever costs you might have uh, during your retirement year. So our goal is to get that income number there to meet up with your needs for income in retirement. And we can factor in Social Security and, and all of that in there. So uh, it's, an, it's a number that you can go in and play around with. I'll actually click into it so you can see a bit how it works. We will factor in uh, Social Security. We will default your retirement age to 67. If you are not in love with the idea of retiring at 67, you can alter it to 62 or something else, whatever year you want to make that. Um, so we have some defaults to get that started, but you can certainly alter it from there. So as you go in, it does take a little while for this to, uh, to upload. And you're going to see it's thinking down there at the bottom. What this does each time you click into it is it actually goes through and runs a whole bunch, actually hundreds of Monte Carlo simulations. So if that term resonates with anybody, that's where we take your investments that you have and we come up with different variable um, market situations. So what you could possibly get in terms of a return, they smash that all together and then it comes up with a fair market return based on all those different um, versions that were run. So when that is all done, you get a result that you can look at. And then if you want to edit anything, you can do that from here. So um, you know, if you want to change the retirement age, if you want to change um, the Social Security, whether it's included, not included, you can do all of that here. Uh, if you have, if someone has a pension and you want to factor that in, you could do that here as well. So anything that you have from the outside could certainly be worked into this number. Um, and then the, the other piece, there's replacement income. I know it's a little hard to see, but on the top right over there, the third one down, replacement income gets around the whole idea of how much um, of my current salary am I looking to replace during my retirement years? So do I need pretty much all of the same take home that I have today, or can I live on quite a bit less? For example, my grandmother lives on 50% of what her final pay was during her working years, very, lives very modestly in retirement. She's not looking, she wasn't looking to replace 100% of her income. So um, you can set that percentage to anything that you like, and then that will adjust the, uh, our assumption for you in terms of are you close to being on track to what you need. So all of this is just really a budget, a budget tool going against what you have in your account, and we're giving you an idea of whether or not you're on track to have enough per month when you get to retirement. Okay. Let me show you a couple other aspects of the website, and then we'd like to open it up to questions. So one of the other pieces from here that a lot of folks are going to want to look at is the investment piece. So under my investments, if you either can't remember what you had picked as your funds or you're thinking maybe you want to make changes, you can go in there, see your mix, and actually you can make changes right from this screen. So we've tried to lay it out. Whatever screen you're looking at, any action that might be associated with that, it just makes sense that you could take action right from there. So if you click into something like review what my investments are, a logical next step for employees at that point might be, well, I want to change my investments. So all those buttons are right there to go ahead and do that. Um, so you can see your mix of where your future contributions are going. That's what's um, across the top there right now. And then down below, you can see balances of your, um, of your current balance. So you will have folks from time to time that I have my current money one way, but then new money that's coming in, I have it a little bit different. And then throughout the, the site, you have the options of um, things that you're already familiar with today. Um, it's just a demo, so I'm not going to click in a, a couple of these, but I think you referred to it as GPS for your guided system. So we have managed accounts is pretty much the same type of offering where we can offer advice uh, through the website. So that piece is available where we would choose the investments for you. Uh, there's the self-directed brokerage option. So that's been offered, I believe, through Schwab. So that would continue. Same offering exists going forward. 
So all those pieces are available through the website as well. So that's just a quick look at the website. If there's something specific you want to see how it exists on the website, please let me know. Um, but that is it, and I think that's the prepared remarks from Beth and I. So we'd love to open it up to questions from everybody. Can I just hit four Go things ahead. in the event that, that these are questions that you may have? Um, I wanted to let you know we're aware of the old TSA annuities. There are several people that have questioned that. Those products are with Valic, they were with Lincoln Life. I can't remember all the other ones that are out there. They were pre-DC plan, pre-2000. They've never been ours. We don't manage them. We won't manage them. Um, if you have people that have them or if you yourselves have them, you can either call Great West to help you navigate your options. You do not have to move this money. We will not be moving this money. You have to direct that money. If you want it to come to Great West, and you don't, if you, you'll, you'll want to verify if there's surrender fees or any other uh, fees or, or issues that are go with that. It's entirely up to you if you want to do that. You can. It's not coming. We're not touching it. We're moving the one billion that's ours through the DC plan from 2000 on into Great West. The rest of it is for everyone else to navigate. So I wanted to remind everyone of that issue. One of the great pluses of going with, one of the other great pluses of going with Great West was that we'll be able to move this money in kind. And what that means is the quiet period that we're having, they've already established relationships with Galliard and Morningstar Ibbotson, two of our uh, fund directors and investment groups. And so we're basically having to just shut down Valak accounts, freeze them, and we can bring them back up. We're not having to, s to close out and sell anything. So the month period or a little less than a month that we're down is actually quick, good, it's usually a lot longer process than that. But because of their established relationships, we're not having to do that. So we're able to bring everybody up rather quickly. Um, third thing is I want everyone to be aware that when you, unlike Valak, when you call the call center num number, you're not getting a, a somebody that's reading off of a cheat sheet and a call center person. You're getting a financial advisor, a certified 6,000 series plus. So we have... We have a couple different things um, in, in terms of what <coughs> service you have available to you. So two things, you could call the call center where you can reach folks there, but then from my group across the country, we will have regional um, contacts for everybody. So depending on what state you live in, you would have a specific person from our education group that you can reach out to. So if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one meeting by phone, you could do that and we can review all your account information and, and give you you know, a bunch of direction around your plan. So that's that's an option that you have available to you. We also have um, a financial advisory group of folks that you can reach in the home office. So that's what Beth is alluding to. So um, you have all those options available. And then we also will have our education folks throughout the country that are going to, going to be going to different locations and provide on-site support as well. So um, you're gonna have a number of different avenues to, to work with us. Also just wanted to make everybody aware that Great, unlike Valet, Great West does not have products that they are selling. They do have an IRA that they offer, but there are no other products that they will be offering or selling to you. Um, let you know that information. Jonathan mentioned the GPS. I don't know if we've determined yet, for those of you that are currently already in GPS and using GPS, you will be able to move that account over. You won't have to go through the very convoluted, detailed questionnaire. The one piece I cannot tell you for sure yet today, because I don't know if they've they made this determination, is whether or not if you have outside information that you're pulling in for that, in other words, any spousal information and things like that, I don't know if you... Yeah, I don't think we know yet. Yeah, I don't know if you... You may have to fill that information back out yet. So I wanted to put that out there, and now we can ha take your questions. Okay, um, currently we have the, uh, the Adventist Kosher Funds, and then we have some other offerings. Uh, are those all going to be continued over into the new plan? The exact same funds. And that's what you were just talking, I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure, um, will you be adding any other offerings to that list? At this time, I don't know that. I. We're always open to that. We're always looking at that. But at this point, I don't know of any changes that we'll be making. Yeah, I think the lineup pretty much replicates what you have today. And you mentioned the 
you have those labeled, uh, is it the index funds? The, the targeted right, right majority yeah, funds. Yeah, those are already um, labeled as SDA funds, so you have a private, a separate label on those. That's staying the same, yeah, so. Business as usual as far as the investment. Morningstar, Morningstar and Ibbotson are, are are managing and um, doing that, working with that, right? And we have so it's staying the same as yeah. As Morning, it was. Morningstar and Ibbotson are still going to maintain that. We have um, Fred Wise is still uh, an outside consultant overviewing it, but it'll still be Morningstar and Ibbotson that are. Well, you guys are easy. This is awesome. That's it. Um, is there um, some other additional documents that may be coming? Ah, good question. November 21st, we'll be mailing out a, it'll have a letter from Dell giving some information, and then it's going to be a little booklet that's going to recap a lot of these same dates. It's actually going to look a lot like that same page that you have, and it's going to break it down for each in, in participant what to expect, what will be changing, what won't be changing, all of that information's in that booklet and that'll be going out and put in everybody's hands the 21st. Thank you. <laughs> well, are you asking? No, we're, 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 we're gonna send it out from Great West. <laughs> Is that it? All right, thank you guys very thank much. Thank you, appreciate it.